Hello, welcome, good morning from my lovely little sophomore room. It's 9.37 and I have literature class at 9.40 and there's a whole ass hill standing between me and that class so I need to get out and I need to go. <laughs> Hello! Hi. <laughs> you I'm, want a hug? Oh my god, uh, I just got up. I have a group meeting for like, you. Yeah, I'm so late. Oh I am, god. mine's at 9.40. I'll see you. Hi. 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 I need some caffeine in my veins if I'm even gonna remotely survive the rest of this class. Hello. Can I have an ice chai charger with oat, please? Ice chai charger with oat, worth it. Thank you so much. Yeah. As far as I'd like to think I've come, I am not above the American trend of having a completely ridiculous strength order. I ordered a load of things online for my hair because it is thirsty. I need a proper comb. I need like some coconut oil. Cause it's, I don't know, when I've been going swimming in the brown pool, I come back and my hair like it's crispy, like it's bad. And when I was camping this summer, this girl showed me like how to actually properly take care of my hair cause I wasn't ever taught it before. So headed to the mail room now to pick it all up. The drink, the capsule in the bottle, the damsel in the dress. You come to save me from distress. Stay the week, distract me from the I'm getting back into the room like I'm scared to bell. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna dump it on the table outside and I'll come back. That walk up the hill always makes me so unbelievably sweaty. I feel like such a cart horse, like pulling my stuff up and down the hill. <gasps> and you can't even see me on camera. I love it here. Ugh, so fucking gross. I can't remember what state you guys last saw this room in, but it's pretty much decorated-ish now. It feels good, I love it here. I'm so glad I got a single. I don't think I would have survived with a roommate for another year. No offense to any roommate out there, but just like living with somebody is so much work. And also when it rains, I wake up to the sound of rain. There's like nature noises outside, which isn't the best for voiceovers. I'm not gonna close all my windows, so I'm sorry about the sound quality, but it's great. I love it here, especially carrying <laughs> It's like 10 pounds, that's 4.54 kilograms of sushi rice up the hill. I, I can't. <laughs> I also got a load of incense from eBay and then I got my coconut oil for my hair, which I am going to put in now because my hair is thirsty, like thirst, like crispy. Just the smell, like the pure smell of coconut oil is what does it for me. So good. I also stopped by the foundry, which is like the sculpture place where all the welding and like metal work happens. It used to be an old factory back in the day and it's been converted for its purpose. And it's closed because there's a lesson going on in there. So I can't use the space to do my homework, which is due tomorrow. But it is open tonight from seven until 11 p.m. So I guess I'm gonna be doing some late night welding. I don't know how safe that is, especially with coconut oil in my hair. Let's hope that I don't go up like a gigantic Olympic torch. 
Okay, I think the plan is I'm gonna take a shower later and when my hair's wet, I'll comb it and then maybe that'll make a difference. I really have no clue when it comes to hair care, but I don't wanna have to like cut it out because it's getting all tangled and gross. Don't mind my third eye, by the way. Look at this massive spot appearing up here. Oh well. Okay, so this is a true test of your Buzzy Martin law knowledge. I'm going to do some of my other work, including video editing, including computer work. Where am I going right now? I'll give you five seconds. Drum roll, please. Thank you so much. I don't think you understand. The sheer amount of work I got done here is insane. <laughs> Not your steamy glass, <laughs> I'm back in my room from the foundry now and I'm just generally looking crusty, musty and dusty like none of this was on purpose. That's crazy, I got so much grime on my face. I was also wearing these trousers that I made in the summer, they were clean on this morning, look at how grimy they are. All this metal dust, insane. I'm so glad I put the knee pads on. This feels like the equivalent of when I would come back from my drawing classes last year and just be covered in charcoal head to toe. I am still cleaning off charcoal from my possessions to this very day. And I don't know if you guys can hear the insects outside, but I fucking love this room so much. I love it. I just love it. What an absolute privilege that I can go to RISD and live in Providence. Like, it's amazing and I am forever thankful. If you guys want to support me, check out my Instagram, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also have a look at my Unscrap Studios website because if my zero waste jeans aren't available to pre-order right now, then they will be very, very soon. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>